Uganda as a country faces several challenges because of inadequate homes in terms of quality and quantity in both rural and urban areas. The country's housing deficit currently stands at 2.4 million housing units, out of which 210,000 units are in urban areas. It is also against this backdrop that government has decided to commit itself to proper housing and accessibility to clean water, to vulnerable families in the slums, to end housing poverty in the country. Doing this will create for us the Uganda we deserve. According to the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Urban Planning, there is a strong need to end housing poverty, which is still a challenge among Ugandans. Government is now planning to work with civil society organizations, such as Habitat for Humanity, to help construct affordable homes. Our government has been partnering with it. It has partnering with district. It has been partnering with kingdoms. It has been partnering with no other organizations through helping Ugandans to access decent shelter. The Habitat for Humanity Uganda has built over 40,000 houses and 200 Ugandans have so far benefited from the project and the need to provide more decent shelter is underway. We shall have the second chapter, which is a corporate chapter that involves the working class from the corporate field. And through this, we are hoping to have a network of volunteers who will be contributing to the mission of putting God's love in traction through provision of decent place to live for partner families. Government's revelation comes at a time when Uganda has joined the rest of the world to commemorate the International Volunteer Day, hence the appeal to members of the public to engage in voluntary work. Hope Nyongereza, CTV, PM Edition. For housing, uh, who's not...